Today we have Professor Francis Lelo, the Vice Chancellor of Laikipia University, and Professor Chiuri, the uh, DVC Academics. We are going to have an interactive show. They tell us about their views on the current issue right now, the strike, and we shall have some answers about that. I'm your host, Louis Hosio. I'm her co-host, Belinda Jisiri. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the professor, uh, pertaining this strike and all, what, what is your take on, I mean, we have had three strikes in a row, what do you think about that and the school in general? First, I think uh, in my view it is unfortunate that uh, we should be discussing about an issue like that. The, the so-called strike, which I think to me it was a student and the rest, it was not a strike. A strike is usually something that uh, follows some effort to talk and then there is no resolution and then somebody goes on strike. But this one there was no talking. We were just surprised with the students uh, calling uh, Kamkuji on Monday and um, I was inside this room with the, with the student leaders, the president and the secretary general trying to understand what was going on and when they told me what was going on I was busy issuing a, a press release to, to clear the air then they started throwing stones there was no any attempt to get answers so we, we are not uh, sure what is going on Okay, uh, Professor, you understand you're the director of uh, the DVC Academics. Yes. What do you have to say? About, do you think it's the student failing or, or like he at large is failing? Because professors say that nobody came for talks. Actually, we were surprised because by the time I was here on Friday yeah. and the, there was no sign of any problem or any issue. Mm -hmm. And um, from what we have put in place as management. Yeah. We have taken the student with us through very intensive leadership training where you don't react to something when some, the other person, you have not even talked to them about it. So we were surprised because at least I was here personally on Friday. We had a meeting with the presidents here. There was nothing that came. So, and uh, I also understand most of the student leaders were not on campus that week. So I think there was just an, uh, an unfortunate breakdown of even protocol. Because if there is a, something like that, it is the Russo leadership that should be, should be calling, and they would be calling when they have said, we have talked to, like now, this issue came from the registrar's office. There should have been, we have talked to the registrar's office, he has said, he has clarified that this fee structure is for us. We have gone to the DVC AR, she is not responding to us. We have talked to the PC, he's not responding to her. And then they would issue a strike notice. And now if you don't if management doesn't resolve this by this time, then as a student body, we shall go on strike. Now even the most of the from what now I understand, even the rules of the, the government was not on campus that week they were on the train. So it becomes very really difficult to understand at what point and who actually decided that there should be an, uh, an, a meeting on Monday. Do the student leaders, are they supposed to be involved in the meetings and such proceedings? Yes. Mm -hmm. However, this particular fee structure is not meant for any ongoing student. Mm -hmm. Those are the revised fees for the students that you report. What our statutes and our policy requires is that if you are going to make any change, I would say the contract you have, because when you come in here you sign a contract with us, and in that contract we have told you what you will pay throughout your four years. If there is any change on that contract, not do it without consulting very widely among the student bodies. This one does not affect anybody who is in who has a contract with us already. This one goes to the people that you come from May 2017, September onwards and probably later. So that's why 
you, the, we don't consult students on things that don't affect them. This one was not affecting them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and uh, talking about the, uh, the students who are uh, the freshmen who are supposed to come in, are they indicating in their fee structure that, that amount, or is it that they are going to come in again, then revise it? No. Let me, let me elaborate on that. Eh? Yeah. When you get a division letter, mm -hmm. and if you want to check, go and check yours, because I'm sure you got an division letter. Within that division letter, there was a fee structure that was given to you. As far as we are concerned, that is a council, university council. Like if a university student will remain with that fee structure until graduation. And when you are also in that letter, there was a form you are signing. There is a place you are signing, I accept. When you sign, I accept, that's a contract. If anybody is to revise that contract, they are supposed to come back to you, you negotiate and you revise the contract. That is why whenever you increase your fees, even when the cost of living increases. Like now, we are supposed to be paying 10 million plus to several bodies. Q, you know the Commission for University Education, the, the, the COOPS, the Placement Service, we also pay to NITA, National Industrial Training Authority, we also pay to NEMA, but we never tell you, because we are now being charged, please, Ongeza, we don't want to touch you, because we know. Immediately we add, even if it is two shillings, that is your reaction, the one you did on Monday. So we like to sign a new contract with whoever is coming. Because at that point you have a choice. You can say, I'm not coming to Laikipia because you are expensive. By that time you can refuse to sign the contract and go to another university. But so long as you sign, we tell you, this is what you accepted. The same, we finish our whole cohort of students who are going on teaching practice without paying a penny, even though the cost of teaching practice had increased tremendously. But in the next group, we told them, now there is teaching practice fee. Anybody like that gentleman who is a teacher, he has a letter saying, when you are a BA student, you will pay additional, I think it's 15,000 for teaching practice. It became a contract. Now he cannot refuse to pay. So, as I said at the beginning, this is just unfortunate information which was distorted with somebody with uh, people with the other agenda, which is not clear. And by the way, that whole Sunday, the student leaders had switched off all their phones. We were not able to communicate to them because we had through other media, others, other sources that Akapogony is planned for Monday. If their telephones were open, we would have told them to come and to meet at night, we we'll clear, so that by the time you are going to the field, you will give the correct information. Okay, sorry for interrupting. Do you think the student leaders were part of the Kamukunjis and everything that happened on, uh, on, on, on Monday? On Monday. They, they were. They were. were. We, 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 have, we have letters, mm -hmm. yeah. both the soft and hard copies, mm -hmm. them calling the Kamukunji and telling students, don't go to class, don't take exams. Don't take cuts. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who called the company. There is no doubt about that. This was all spontaneous. They were called by somebody. And when I arrived here that morning, 8.30, the president was being carried so high all over here. Those who are them, as I've seen, the guy was is a hero. He was being carried. So it is Lucifer who called this meeting. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. And Professor, if you can briefly say, as what was the urgency in hyping the school fees for the first years? I mean, what's... There is nothing urgent. This university is managed on behalf of the government by the council. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you call the council? The council is the one which is answerable to the ministry. And we normally give them our budget. We tell them, now we have been added additional burden of 10 million by these bodies. Where do we get additional money? And for your education, the government only funds two things the university. Two things. Salary for the staff and infrastructure development. 
like this building, you see, it does not directly pay for other things. Like what? Everything yours you see in the university is from the fee that you pay. Like the bus, you see, the computer you use, the books in the library, everything else. The internet service, it is the fee that you pay. All these academic trips, the fee that you pay. So if you don't pay, it is unfair for you to ask for the service if you have not paid. Because there is no another source of income. The university does not have another source of income. It is a fee. So when this amount was added to us by these other bodies, which we must pay, we had to reflect on how to increase a little charge. And by the way, let me also tell you, when you are a government-sponsored student, you only pay 16000 a year as fees. See you? Then there are other small charges, like library fee, if you are in the science, the computer usage fee, you know, those other additional things. The government recommends, on top of these 16000 you can play around to add those charges, not to exceed 30000 30, So in total, we, through the government authority, we can actually play around to increase not more than 46,000 a year. the 16 and the maximum of 30. The council looked at that figure and at the moment you are paying about, uh, I think, is it 33 or 35? I think it is about 30, 35. If you put everything together with all those, on average, because first year you pay more. Second year you pay, that year is less, less. It starts big, then goes reducing. On average, now every student is paying between that five and 38,000 a year. We have now brought it to the new group coming in September. It will be 42. We only added a token amount to take care of this added burden. And if you look at those charges that you have, they were instituted many years ago. And the cost of living has increased. So there was no need of consulting new people in this one because it has nothing to do with you. So as you said, <coughs> that the government facilitates for the building of infrastructure and all that. So how do we tell about the buildings that are not complete, the gate? It was just like saying so when there was some saga about some room falling. Uh, <laughs> So By the way, the room was not falling, and I hope you know it was not falling. It was that scaffolding, the material for holding the shutter, they were removing in order to put another floor. But then a huge piece came down, and because everybody is just scared, you people had a bank, and we took off. Now, to answer, to answer why these buildings are not complete. The funding cycles of government are unpredictable sometimes. You don't get money on time. Like 2015, the contractors just stopped working because they were not paid on time. So that caused, that caused the whole delay. So it is the funding cycles which are not very, very predictable. And it's still the same government that you see coming here and like looking at the building, the same reason is not right for students to be sitting in. Which, which government say it is not right? Is yes. that? They just can see it. They always come and look at the, how the buildings are. By the way, let me tell you. That, that's another body I forgot to also say. When I was leading the bodies that are demanding money from us. As soon as you start doing a building here, every year you pay some fees to them. When they came here, they said you must stop constructing because you have not paid fees. It is not the building which was wrong. There are not penalties, but our statutory payments to them. Yes. Just the way we pay to them because we must do the... We were late because we did not have money ready. Because you people never pay fees on time and you know it. So we did not have money to pay them on time. So they came, why haven't you paid us? Then will punish you because you have not paid us by stopping the construction. So when I pay my issue, there's nothing to do with the building. So the buildings are in perfect condition. Perfect. 
Go and look at them. It's the one, some of the most solid buildings you can have in this country. Okay, following these students' unrest, yes. uh, like the university, we all we are always in a hurry to close the university indefinitely. Yes. Where do we go wrong? Another, in, in, there is a culture which has developed here, which is very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And to break a culture once it has started is very unfortunate. Like that day, I'm here with the, your leaders. Mm -hmm. You even start stoning your own leaders. Like your leaders were inside here. When the stones are, are being thrown like that, how do you talk to people when the stones are being thrown? Oh, they, they to burn the people. You know they try to burn Mandela? Are you aware of that? No, no. And actually they, they burn the secretary. You can still go there and see, and even you take our pictures. The seat which was burned is still there. They burned a seat like that one complete on fire. So to say we are in a hurry to close, it is a security issue. When the people are highly charged like that, the only way you can talk is when they cool down like the way you have cooled down now. To me, the problem is on the student side. I wish you could interview those leaders who are going there. Maybe we might get answers. Wait, what is wrong? Why, would, why did they switch off their phones? Why did they communicate to us? But when they switch off their phones, I, I, I me, me, my feeling is that the leaders want to rebrand themselves. They want to become small heroes to, to the rest of the students. Because what, what value does it add to destroy the university <coughs> and also spoil the reputation of the university? Mm -hmm. you, you talked about the student leaders being involved in, let's say, incitement. Are there going to be some sanction towards them for the incitements? Uh, we are waiting for security reports. Police have arrested quite a number. We are going to go through all those names that we have been given. And each one of them will be made to, to explain. Maybe some of them are innocent, but you know sometimes the police can catch you when you are just running. And you are not the one who is throwing stones. Yes? Okay, and um, they've talked about some, uh, new, uh, some corrections in the buildings that were damaged. And I'm aware that you, uh, professors, are just from a concluded Senate meeting. Have you already discussed how much is the damage fee? For all students, or maybe for those who will be found guilty? Um, yes, we have assessed the damage. Mm -hmm. The damage is in the excess of six million. And um, there was a task force where even that same loser was represented. And they went through all the costs, they even visited the, the damages, like the, you know, the restaurant there was totally wrecked, and even some equipment destroyed and looting. The Mandela Hall, which is a new hall, all, all the glasses are down. And of course, my office, then my building. This roof is old materials, best ones. When you throw a stone because it's old and it's very brittle, it's like an egg. In fact, it was raining through here because it rained on Monday. This roof has to be replaced. We put all those costs together. The lab, the new lab. When we apportion the damage and they calculate the number of students who are in session, the Senate has the resolved all the students pay. And it's only 1,020. 1, yeah, for every student. The, the, the ones who will be identified as the real culprits will get a different kind of punishment. And uh, what do you think should be done pertaining all this from the administration, from the students? My advice is that, um, and we have advice, it is very good the way things are arranged that the students have a government called Russo. Mm -hmm. Russo is the one which will provide the leadership. If Russo fails, you can be sure the student leadership is going to fail. I want to guarantee you here, the Ethiopia University management is an open administration. And uh, we have decided we will open immediately. Classes will begin on Monday. Monday, this, this Monday, the return. After, after Sunday. 
Yeah. And we have asked lecturers, even if there are two students, to give lecture that morning. We cannot afford to lose this semester. Okay, assuming that maybe there was a disagreement somewhere, will this unrest uh, cause some delay in graduation of this year? Monday? Definitely, if we do not resume on Monday or if we don't clear the semester, there will be no graduation this year. Okay. Because you know, after August 4th, the government has said no university will be in session from 4th of August. And the, the, just to add to that is, you see the semester, the semester is not only the teaching, it's the exams and processing of the exams and preparation of the graduation lists. It's not a one day affair. So the minute you interfere with any schedule, like now, if we interfere with the examination processing timetable, which runs all the way to end of July because we need to take the exams to external examiners for quality control and have the things school boards meet and have the Senate for results meet. Mm -hmm. If we fail to do what we have done, and that's why we are saying crisis resume again on Monday, yeah. you can forget about graduation. Okay, just before we wrap up, uh, this piece, uh, I don't want to call it interesting, but uh, social media right now, it's like, it's on fire. You know, uh, like just before I came in, I saw on Twitter students are pursuing this hashtag, Lelo must go. Mm -hmm. He was the professor of Lake like, University. Mm -hmm. Give us, uh, or rather, give the students who are pursuing the hashtag a very good reason to draw. You know, it is not fair to crucify an innocent person. Mm -hmm. Because nobody has come here, like the way you have come, and told me, Lelo. This is what you are doing wrong. Because, yes, I'm the CEO of Laikita University, but I do not run the university single handedly. There are organs and structures that are in place. I only supervise these structures. Nobody has come here to tell me structure X, which you are responsible for, is not functioning well, and therefore it is creating this problem. So, for them just to rush and start saying, Lelo must go is to crucify an innocent person until proven guilty. I see, like, yes. uh, the first break, I guess it was last academic year, yes. there was an unregistered course of biomed, they're saying uh, poor infrastructure development, so many things are going on. Yes, and mm -hmm. for each one of those things, if I may ask a question, I can always respond. Mm -hmm. Like you are more or less in a direct ask me about this, uh, this project, ongoing project. You can only control up to a certain point. Like you can see all this side. There were wooden structures when it was a teacher's training college. That is what we inherited. Since I came here, I started now to do the university. We are starting almost from zero. Rome was not done in one day. I think they are comparing ourselves with other institutions. They used to be looking like the University of Nairobi. You should be looking like Kenyatta. You should be looking like this. You should be. That is where the problem is. If you are first year and I addressed you. Mm -hmm. I said you have come to an institution where you are not just a number. You are a human being. You will be inconvenienced because we are growing. As you complain about these facilities, I understand. But remember, when you came here as a first year, you had a choice of taking in the university transfer, if you don't like Matope, if you don't like fresh air, and we are making the effort to improve the place. Now like the lab. Is that how you improve? We do a new lab. The next thing, the Maui. And then, and then the next day, complain. Yeah, complain, yeah. we have no lab. We have no, no lab. lab. But we put it for more. You see contradiction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> These people are using these hashtags huh? mm -hmm. or saying they need to come out. Some of them could be sponsored by some. Some people would like to sit on that chair. You know that somebody might want to sit on that chair. Mm -hmm. And the only way they can sit there is when Lelo has gone, eh? isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but Lelo needs to be told, as a Kenyan, mm -hmm. as a taxpayer, what wrong have I done to deserve that kind of. Mm -hmm. You just can't call me a thief. You must prove that I am one. Okay, Professor, you talked about uh, 
Electric University being a very big institution with some organs. Do you feel in your when you're managing the institution as the CEO, do you feel there's some part of your there's some structures which have failed you? No, I don't feel so because that is where now I would be failing in my response. If I knew there was one which is not performing, mm -hmm. I would change the, the way it is, uh, it is managed because I, I have the control. I can remove a leader, I can remove a head of a department who so is not functioning well. Mm -hmm. Where I get complaints, I address them. But sometimes you blame some of the organs because you think they are not moving, but there might be other constraints which we are aware of. And one of the major ones sometimes is financial. That one is really key. Because the amount you, you people pay in pain in the form of fees, we need to admit. And it's good that the government gives you scholarship. It is not sufficient to make this place to be ideal quickly. The so-called beauty trips, the sports trips that you must go, it is the same money you gave the, us that the, we... The, the practicals. <laughs> yes. It's the same money we put in to, to facilitate you to go. You behave like children who are saying these days, Baba na kwambia, sina pesa. Nabia, Baba lakini siyo kona ITM card. <laughs> you don't think your father can be without money. This is a mentality. When we tell you, please, don't go to Masai Mara if you can go to Laikipia Conservancy. Because the same elephant you are going to see in Masai Mara is the same elephant you are going to see here. And it is cheaper. You don't like that. The same elder you are going to interview in Mombasa, in the same elder you go to Romuruti, when I interview at Urukana elder, you get the same message. To cut in cost. It is a balancing act, Sayota. People are not understanding. They think the university has got money. And they, if the money is not there, Lelo must go. But Lelo does not have that kind of money. Do I buy a computer for you people? Or do I take you on a field trip, which is not necessary? And that is why we need an understanding students' government. Okay, so you, you feel like Luso has failed students? I, wa I don't want to say it is a whole Luso because I only have evidence of two guys who send the, the, the message through the social media. Mm -hmm. The president and the secretary general. And I have it even here. You want to see it? Oh, you have seen it. I've seen it. So, the other way, you know, maybe it could be the whole... Uh, no, 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 no. The rest of the government, I don't think it is all of them. And I also think, even these uh, two young guys, uh, because they were away for almost two weeks, they wanted to show they are still in control. You know, we had taken them to seminars. So they were not here. After all, they were misinformed. They jumped to the boat without getting the details. Yes. Okay. So just to send a message of peace, maybe if I start with Professor Shinji. Well, it's to say we, we have met the Senate mm -hmm. and we have decided we shouldn't lose any more time. Mm -hmm. So we are opening on Monday and we hope people will come and resume so that we don't lose any service. Okay. Professor. I, I want to say like EPA is a great institution. That me, I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, what we need is just to everybody to play their role, student government to play their role, management their role, lecturers, everybody. Senate, since it has decided we reopen on Monday, I have no doubt we shall reopen on Monday. And uh, Luso was there, they were there represented in the Senate, and they, they saw the House of going to participate in preaching the gospel of peace. We resume on Monday. It is going to be a little bit inconvenient because some classrooms will be very cold because there are no windows, but they will be fixed in due course. So everybody should come and we resume and pick the, the broken pieces and move on. And uh, we can still recover what we have lost. Very grateful to have Professor Lilo and Churi. Uh, so at least students, you have a view of what is happening in the school, you've gotten the message directly from them. We're mm -hmm. preaching a message of peace. Go back to your books and study. We resume on Monday as we've had. Yeah, thank you. I've been your host, Les Hosio. Thank you.